Okay, um, well, today, uh, I was going to be doing botnets, but, um, yeah, decided not to because it's going to be too long to set up, so I'll do it at a later time. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to use, uh, Turcogen 4. I will show you how to use Shark, maybe, because not many people use it anymore, and I will show you how to use Poison Ivy and Pro Rat. Uh, anyway, so basically... You have your Turcogen and double click it and install it. You will need your antivirus turned off. So just do this while I do it if you want. Uh, I agree this uh, the agreement. I accept the agreement. Uh, put it wherever you want. Uh, name it wherever you want. Create a desktop item uh, icon. Yeah. And then install. And then it will say uh, deny. Uh, it will change your home page because they like to have people come to their home page but basically just set it back to blank it's not a virus it's not going to take over your computer it's just going to change your home page anyway launch launch it and then open it up and you get this uh, usually it will be in this language here and as you can see not really good so you gotta click this menu and just go to English alright now you've got that done um, yeah sorry uh, once you've got that done you wanna click editor and as you can see my information is already put in for me but what you will have to do is go to noip.com that's um, that is no-ip.com and I so no hyphen op dot com. Put that in your browser, and then create an account. Then go to add hosts. Add a new host uh, with the domain you want. So mine's uh, xxcm31xx at noip.biz at the domain you want. Want do not change any um, of the other settings. It says, uh, um, yeah. So that's basically what you got to do. Go to noip.com, create an account, go to add host, and add a new host with the information that you want. Um, yeah, uh, domain is, it will give you an option, and you put in your username or whatever that you want to call it. So mine's xxcm31xx, and then it, it just puts dot noip, and then dot whatever one you choose. Alright? And, uh, just click accept and just leave it the w the other settings how they were and just click yeah alright alright um uh... I'm um, not sure really that's about it for getting that bit done so yeah you want to make sure that port one five nine six three is open and you can open this uh sorry about that some random person but uh yeah you can open this via your uh web uh router sorry so basically you go to what is my dot com uh <laughs> gotta open up notepad what is my IP dot com? Go to that, and it says your IP address is like one two three dot uh, dot uh, uh, dot uh, dot uh. right, and that's your IP address. The bunch of numbers, right? You copy and copy that, and go to your oh shit. Go to your browser and then just paste it there and hit enter. And then just sign in and do what you want. Um, 
try admin admin for the username and password um, yeah so try admin and uh, password or admin and then like uh, blank so like don't type anything and then click enter uh, try uh, admin and like one two three for the password try anything usually if the default is going to be that or that mostly but in some cases it can be this and um, try it with a with a capital with a capital A for admin alright uh, the reason I put it up on screen is just so you learn from seeing as seeing it as well because you know, you know maybe I say something wrong and you don't catch it or something so yeah um, default passwords try any of those if that doesn't work you can always crack into it uh, we'll do a tutorial on that um, and then try with a capital A for pa uh, admin and that's about it and then w once you've done that open that port um, you can do this by going on portforward.com uh, I might as well just keep this up in it <laughs> so go to portforward.com and find your no, um, port forwarding I'm doing this all from memory so give me a break by guides oh, G U I D E S. sorry I couldn't spell there for a second anyway port forwarding by guides click that then then find your router router then follow the guide and replace the numbers they put for the ports uh, the, the hold on what's with um, 963 just check that's right yeah so uh, basically go to portforward.com this is completely free by the way all of it and go to port forward and buy guides and then click that and then find your router from the list oh, list find your route from the list and then follow the guide and then whatever number they put in for the port that they're using just put your port instead which is one five nine six three uh yeah anyway oh yeah that's real fucking help isn't it anyway um i'm gonna stop the video now and do part two because i've probably gone over the limit so yeah anyway that's basics uh, and no IP account set up and stuff like that, port forwarding. Alright, check out part two for uh, what are the best settings. What are like the best settings and then and as you can see you can put in an error message like error uh, OMG this is for YouTube and then yeah but if you make this bigger like if I do that you'll see all of the uh, title so yeah carry on to part two where I shall continue this uh, thanks for watching